My dear, sweet child. That's what I do. It's what I live for. To help unfortunate merfolk like yourself. Poor souls with no one else to turn to. In a castle filled with locked rooms, the person with the key is king. And honey, you should see me in a crown. Now, I'm sure you didn't mean to skip out on payment, did you? No, no, of course you wouldn't do that. So now let me ask you, where's my money? Do you know the funny thing about a job? There's a description that comes along with it. In your case, it said, bring back alive. The funny thing is, alive can mean many different things, you know. A man with no arms and legs can still be alive, right? <laughs> My mother was a cold-hearted whore who never loved anyone. She never touched a pathetic old creep like you. My father. I'll be damned. Oh, it's very, very funny. <laughs> Looks like the bitch got me with a singer in the end. Oh, you know how mothers are. She just kept pushing. And I'm like, fine, mom. Be a whore. Be a drunken whore, even, but don't be a nagging drunken whore, you know? Don't come yell at me to do the dishes if you've been banging a clown in the next room! You know? <laughs> the secret to good comedy? Timing. And what's courage? Grace under pressure. And who's the boss? I'm the boss. <laughs> Oh, darling. <laughs> Do you remember how humans used to hunt in prehistoric times? I mean, humans have been bred to have really good endurance. So, they would hunt prey that was faster than them. But the prey would sprint and waste up all their endurance and the humans would just keep up. They would just keep up, very slowly and steadily. they just fall off from a distance. And over time, their prey would get more and more tired, and they'd run out of energy. And then the humans, would eat them. 
Isn't that interesting? Now tell me. Do you feel tired yet? There are many types of monsters that scare me. Monsters who cause trouble without showing themselves. Monsters who abduct children. Monsters who devour dreams. Monsters who suck blood. And then, monsters who tell nothing but lies. Lying monsters are a real nuisance. They are much more cunning than others. They pose as humans even though they have no understanding of the human heart. They eat even though they've never experienced hunger. They study even though they have no interest in academics. They seek friendship even though they do not know how to love. If I were to encounter such a monster, I would likely be eaten by them. Because in truth, I am that monster. Every story needs a hero, and a villain, and a monster. Which one am I to you? You can often figure out why someone kills based on their weapon, or weapons of choice. It's why I prefer knives for moments like this. Close. Personal. Slow. It makes your death all the more enjoyable. Do you know what I've done? Why I've done it? No. Of course you wouldn't. Because I'm the bad guy, right? And everything I do falls on blind eyes. And supersonic ears. You know, I've always liked being the villain. I get days off. <laughs> Hi everyone, thank you so much for watching the video. I thought this would be something nice and kind of fun to mess around with since I don't really get to play a villain all that often, so I thought I would just mess around with some villain lines. <laughs> I might do more of these in the future, just say lines in an archetype voice just for funsies, really. Um, and I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. Please show love to my editor and friend, Haley. Uh, she's actually the one who drew the art that was on the screen, and uh, obviously, like I said, she also did the editing for this video and she's a very good friend of mine so I hope you guys can all show her some love and with that I'm gonna go buzz off bye guys